Ballpoint pens have an oil-based ink, whereas rollerball pens, such as this, have a looser and smoother writing feel. These rollerball gel pens, they're less likely to skip than what you will have with your standard ballpoint pen, but because of this, it will give you a different writing and drawing experience, such as with the ballpoint pens, you can shade with these because of the fact that the pen can skip across the surface. So if you have a, a drawing paper that is rougher, you can do a lot of shading with these, whereas with the gel pen, you can't really do that. But what I do like about the gel pen is they're a lot better for stippling. The ballpoint pen is going to be a lot cheaper than the rollerball gel pen. They're more reliable because you don't have to worry about them drying up so often. They're much cheaper. You can shade with them. They come with a much finer point usually. The one I have here is a medium, but they also come in fine points as well. Also, I'd like to mention about the gel pens is that when you're writing with these, because of the gel and the fact that it takes a lot longer to dry, as you're writing, you may smear or smudge the ink as you're going across the paper. Whereas with the ballpoint pens, you don't have that issue. And I'll give an example of that. When I'm drawing with a ballpoint pen, I can get fine lines, but I do have to apply a lot more pressure than when I'm using a gel pen because this does skip along the paper, but something great that I like about this is that you can shade with it. And I'll give you the example of that. To shade, you have to press lightly and use it at a slight angle. If you don't, then you'll just get lines that are like this, and they might be a little bit too dark. So to shade, I hold it at an angle, like this, I press lightly, and I move the pen across the paper. That skipping can give you a shading effect, and it's great for when you're drawing portraits, or trying to draw things realistically. And also with this, when you're writing, you don't have to worry about it smudging as much as you do with the gel pen. I'll give an example of that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line, then I'll run my hand across it and we'll compare the smudging. Very little smudging at all. So now let's test the gel pen. The gel pen, you can't really shade with it. It just doesn't really work because the ink just goes straight to the paper. Now let's test the smudging of it. As you can see here, it smudges way more than the ballpoint pen, and it takes a longer time to dry. So I'll compare the drying time of the ballpoint pen and the gel pen. The ballpoint pen usually dries within 30 seconds or less easily. So I'm going to wait a couple of seconds and then we'll compare the smudge test of the ballpoint pen after I waited a few seconds compared to the gel pen. See no smudging at all, but if I'm using the gel pen, I guarantee that it will smudge even if I give it twice as long to dry. As you can see there's a slight smudge there, whereas with the ballpoint pen, you don't have any of that. But what I do like about the gel pen is if you're drawing lines that always have to be consistent and they have to be on the paper to where there's no inconsistency between the lines and they always have to show up darker, then this will be better for you than using a ballpoint pen. But as I said before, the advantage of having a ballpoint pen is that you can shade with it and you can get finer lines than what you can get with the gel pens. These come in fine, medium, and I'm pretty sure they have larger sizes. But all the ones I have are just fine and medium. But the gel pen, such as this one, a fine tip is much, much wider than a ballpoint pen that has a medium tip. It's at least two to three times as wide with a gel pen. So what do you prefer, ballpoint pen or the gel pen? Each have their strengths and weaknesses, but each serve a purpose that can be better for writing or drawing. Let me know which one you prefer in the comments down below. Thank you for watching, please subscribe, and have a great day.